the case study analysis. Then uh, you can hand it up to the front. Or can you do me a favor? Can you go around and collect from the students? If you have, you can give it to her. Okay. Uh, then the last time we were, we started to talk about the government debt and default. Okay. So. We are going to continue to talk about that today. Okay. So, first of all, we are going to discuss what affects the price of the bond. So, what three things are made up in the price of the bond, government bond? If we have an interest rate on the bond, right? But what depends to besides the interest rate on the bond? What, what you talked about the time value of money in the first week. What things decide the interest rate on the bond? Three things. Inflation. What else? Two more things. Risk or uncertainty. And what else? What's the last one? Expectation. What do you mean? Time value of money. This is time value of money. What's the last one? We're missing one. Can anybody remember which one are we missing from time value of money? Why is money worth more today than it is in the future? Because of inflation, because of uncertainty, because of? Which is better, an apple today or an apple next year? Why? There's no inflation. No risk. No risk. You're sure you can get the apple next year. Patience or preference, right? So people prefer to consume today. What do we call this here? What's the name for this? Another name for this. Hmm? Real interest rate. talked about the US government bond, we can take out uncertainty, okay? The so US government bond is just inflation plus the real interest rate, okay? So the U if we want to know the real interest rate, we get the nominal interest rate on the US bond minus inflation, tells us the real interest rate. Or we can check the TIPS, US has the Treasury protected, or inflation protected bond, okay? To find the real interest rate. So apart from that, these bonds are sold in the market, okay? So we also have supply and demand affects the, the uh, supply and demand, right? Affects the price of the bond, okay? And the interest rate. So we have time value of money and we have supply and demand, okay? So... Uh, <coughs> What do you think? Discuss with your partner what affects the supply and the demand for bonds. We are going to be talking about in Europe, the different price of the bonds in Europe. But what affects the supply and the demand for government bonds? So discuss with your partner. Yeah. 
친구 친구로 부르신가? Anybody tell me some factor which it can affect the supply and demand of the government bond? Other factors? Can anybody think of another factor? Okay, I'm going to tell you a factor, you tell me what happens. Okay, safe haven effect. Safe haven effect. And the increased demand. If you are a safe haven, do you understand safe haven? What countries are safe havens? US. 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 Switzerland. Switzerland. In your in the Euro area? What's a safe haven in the Euro area? Germany. Germany. Okay? Demand is increased if we have a safe haven. Okay? Uh, what about we have a global savings glut. Global, a lot of high global savings. A lot of old people with a lot of savings. What's going to happen? Increased demand, right? So another increased demand is global savings. High global savings. So in this case, we have. A Increase the risk in the global economy, then the safe haven will decrease the mass, right? Increase global savings. What do you think is the trend? More global savings or less global savings? What's the trend in the future? Why do you say more? Because the nation is getting older in the future. People are getting older, so what? People are living longer, basically, rather than getting older, right? They're living longer. So? so as they don't work, they are old ages, they need to have some savings. Yes, they need to make more savings because they're going to live for longer, okay? So they need to save more money. Where are they going to invest the money? Something safe, like bonds, okay? So increase demand for bonds, as people have longer lives and want to save more money. There could be increased demand for bonds, generally. Okay. Uh, we talked about inflation. If we expect inflation, expect inflation, what should happen to the bonds? People expect inflation. 